Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all okay. I'm not feeling my best today. I have a bit of a sore throat. Um, so we're just going to have a very light, gentle class this morning. Hope you're all doing well. All you need for today is a mat and some space. You're going to take it nice and easy. Hope you're all well today. If you want to say hi in the comments down below, feel free to just comment there. We're going to get started in about 30 seconds. So it's still a little bit warm, so if you need a drink or anything, please make sure you're hydrated and if you ever feel dizzy or lightheaded, then you must stop because um, what can happen is we can overexert ourselves and that's not good. So just see how you feel for today. Just wait for a few more people to join us if they're around. Good morning, Pamela. Thank you for coming. Hope you enjoy the class. So if you've never done Pilates before, don't worry, I shall talk you all through it. And don't forget these are saved onto the page so you can come back to the videos anytime you wish to look over them again or um, just practice if, if you want to. Um, it's always good, practice makes perfect. Good morning, Irene. Thank you for joining me today. Okay, so we'll get started. One more hello, let me see who it is. Morning Sheila, thank you. So everyone, let's start sitting on our mats. Let me grab my drink. So, and turn some lights on. It's very dark for the end of July, isn't it? So, a bit drab today, wherever you are in the world. I'm in, I'm in Lincolnshire and it's quite windy and rainy. Never mind, never mind. Um, so just keep the spine really tall and just relax the shoulders down. Just really relax the shoulders down. And we breathe in, right ear, right shoulder. Hold it there. Just keep pushing both shoulders away from the ears. Into the middle, inhale, exhale over to the other side. Come back in, nod the chin towards the chest, keep that spine and neck really long. And come back up, look over the right shoulder. Hold it there. Into the middle, over to the left. And one more time. Now this time I'm going to just cross the feet the other way and this just helps us to make sure that the hips are nice and even. So push the shoulders down and away, we breathe in and breathe out right ear, right shoulder. Come back in, left ear, left shoulder. And come back in, nod the chin. And come back up, look over the right shoulder. And into the middle and over to the left. So with these neck twists and turns, um, they're really good for stretching out your neck, obviously. And if you sit at a desk all day, or you drive, or you type a lot, or you cook a lot, or you use your wrists a lot for hairdressing, etc., it's a really good way to stretch out your shoulders. Um, because we often get so tense in our hands, and that travels all up the arms, into the shoulders, into the neck, into the head, headaches, etc. So if you do ever feel like you have a headache, definitely do some neck stretches. It might just help to soothe everything out. Okay, now from here, we're going to place our fingertips on the floor. So this is my favorite stretch for stretching out the um, hamstrings and the um, glutes. So hands on the floor, we push the shoulders away from the ears, look down, inhale, exhale, stretch it forward. 
I opened up the whole of the back. Just hold it here. Now we're going to breathe in, breathe out, try and place your elbows to the floor. So don't worry if your elbows don't actually touch the floor, it's not that big a deal. But you want to just push them down, just to stretch out. And come back up. Wonderful. I would see the other side. Hands on the floor. So you switch your legs over. So that means that we are balancing out the hips and the stretches. Breathe in, nod. Breathe out, stretch away. Breathe in, breathe out, down. You might find this side easier, you might find it a little bit harder. And come up, bring the hands in. Fabulous. Now from here, grab yourselves a cushion. If you wish, this is just for the head. So the neck's in line with the spine. If you've got a plantate block, you can use it. If you've got a yoga block, you can use it as long as it's not too thick and high to make sure that you're kind of relaxed in your neck. So with the pelvis, a recap of the pelvis, for those who need it, is if you squeeze under, so push the lower back into the mat, um, with the feet hip width apart, the feet flat on the floor, then the fingertips push down and we stretch out so you feel like you're arching your lower spine. And then we come into the middle, breathing in. And then we push down, breathe out. And that's it, just keep doing this. Now this is a good way to find a neutral pelvis. It's also a fantastic way for stretching out that lower back. And I'll say this just in case you're the first time joining me today, the lower back is fixed, okay, the lumbar spine is fixed, it doesn't really move. So this is why we have so much lower back pain because, <coughs> excuse me, it aids in the middle of our body so it takes a lot of impact from above and below, but also because it doesn't stretch. We can stretch the upper back, middle back, the shoulders, etc. We can't really stretch the lower back. So this is a really good way to do that, okay? And then what we do so if you push your lower back into the mat, take the fingertips down, between the back of the mat we are going to just feel that lovely little stretch just in the middle and you should be able to get your fingers between the back of the mat. Now from here, we're going to walk the feet in, so the knees are touching the floor and the hands are just out and down. And then we walk over to the right. And come into the middle, inhale, exhale over to the left. Now your right, so we're going over to the left, the right side of the right foot can go as well. This is just to stretch the, the torso. So over to the other side. Come into the middle and again over to the left. One more time, in and over. And come in, over to the other side. And come in, fab. Take your right knee over with the hands and just hug it into the chest. You feel the stretch. And foot down and left side. Okay. 
and come down. Soles of the feet together, we inhale, hands over the head, knees out wide, stretch. This is called the butterfly stretch in yoga. Just really helps to stretch everything out. Come back in, hands in, inhale. Exhale out. Come back in. One more time. Inhale. Exhale out. And come back in. Fab. Now have the feet hip width apart. You don't want the feet too far away from you now because this is the exercise that we're going to do. Just take the head pillow out to the side. Um, bring the knees, bring the feet up. Um, lower back just resting on the floor, hands on the floor. And then we inhale and then tuck. So that we push the lower back into the mat and then we lift up and squeeze. Just very gently lift up. And gently lower. Well done. And then we go again. Tuck it under, lift. Keep breathing in and out. This is so good for the lower back. And lower. And one more time. Tuck under, lift it up. Hands underneath, clasp the lower back if you wish. This just helps to squeeze up a little bit more. For three, two, one. Release the hands, gently lower back down. Hug those knees, rock side to side. Wonderful. Now hands over the knees. Inhale, bring them in. Exhale, stretch them away. Come back in, breathe in, breathe out, stretch. Come back in, inhale, exhale, stretch away. And now this time, left leg over right, left ankle over right, hands on the inside of the knees, inhale, exhale, stretch out. Now you can bring the feet down if you want, but the idea is we get a really good deep stretch all in the inner thigh. You can bring your head pillow back here if you wish, if you put the hands. I find it more comfortable, it's personal choice, but I always recommend it. Bring it in, right over left, inhale, exhale out to the side. And relax. So don't forget, if you do have lower back pain, this is not just your lower back that gets affected, it's the hips the thighs, the hamstrings, the calves, even your ankles, these can all make a massive difference on your lower back. So we do a lot of exercises in Pilates and stretches to stretch out not just the lower back, but all the lower part of the body as well. Now let's place the left foot onto the floor <coughs> and then place the hands behind the um, right thigh. So push into that right foot, we breathe in and then we breathe out, we lift it up. Ooh, now I've got really tight legs today, um, and I've just got really tight legs, so just push into that right heel and just keep stretching up. And then we inhale, we bend the knee. Now hug the knee in a little bit closer and then breathe out, so now you should get a deeper stretch. And then from here, relax, place it down to the floor. Other side, hug the left knee in, hands behind the lower back. Inhale, exhale, push up, lower back pressing in. It would be really good if your leg is here, but if your lower back's off the floor, you're not stretching your leg as high or as much. So, top tip, keep your lower back on the floor. And then we inhale, come down. Exhale, stretch once again. So, like I say, 
if you are a hairdresser or a teacher or you just garden a lot or you just stand a lot or if you sit down and your hamstrings and your legs feel tight this is a very good exercise just to a improve the flex flexibility but also to stretch out your legs wonderful drop that foot down feet as wide as you can now we want to push the heels out so there's a difference between my foot here and then my foot here okay hands are on the floor inhale exhale knees touch now from here you push your heels out a little bit more which feels really uncomfortable i'm not gonna lie but again gets a good deep deep stretch here all right in those hips wonderful and then we inhale knees come out exhale come back in wonderful come back out stretch the legs long 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 away hands over the head stretch out point the toes imagine you're just waking up first thing in the morning and you're pointing your toes and then you're pushing through your heels and then you're pointing through the toes and pushing through the heels and come back up fabulous now come up and then lay onto your right side push yourself up wonderful now let's work into the upper body so knees onto the floor you can use your cushion here if you wish so hands on the floor we walk back we inhale we exhale we stretch away this just is a very good test to see if our back is tense at all. Just keep stretching, enjoy the stretch all up the neck and the spine. Again, if you want to use your pillow here, you can. Just hold it a little bit longer. wonderful and come back up so that is probably i would say one of the most relaxing stretches i ever do the child's pose stretch and you can use it in yoga and in pilates but again if you want to try and create sort of relaxation in the neck and the spine definitely practice the child's pose as much as you can relax the toes onto the floor hands are flat on the floor resting on the shoulders inhale nod the chin round through the spine and round through the back so you imagine your belly button sucking into your spine and look forward and again nod around and look forward Wonderful. Now place the elbows down to the floor. So we're like this. Your hands can clasp together if you wish. And then we breathe in and then we breathe out. We sink it back, stretch out. Now this targets the sort of the size of the body and the um, upper body a little bit more. This kind of pose. Just imagine someone's keep pushing your hips back. One more deep breath in and out. Fabulous. Now, hands are about as wide as the mat, so the little fingers touch the sides of the mat. We're going to walk the knees back and then we're going to slide that left knee in between the hands and stretch the right leg back. Now, only do this next one if you have no pre existing um, back injuries or pains or whatever, okay? Be very easy and protect the lower back here. So we lift up the spine we lift it up nice and tall so feel it here and feel the upper body too just relax it all my time flies this morning just step now if you want to you can if it's comfortable lift up your right knee off the floor 
drop the shoulders, keep that neck long, and drop the right knee down. Now from here, we're going to curl the right toes under, hands are on the floor, and we breathe in and breathe out, lift up the right knee. Now push into your right heel on when you breathe out, and that will open up the right of the thigh and all down the back of the calf, which again, tight calf can cause serious lower back problems. So just stretch. And lower it down, well done. Bring your knees back, elbow, hands forward, elbows down, inhale, exhale, stretch it back. And come forward, very good, okay. Hands as wide, we breathe in, breathe out. Left knee, oh, sorry, what am I talking about? Right knee forward, left leg is long. So prepare yourself, hands meet the knee, we breathe in, breathe out, lift up, push your shoulders away from your ears, extend that spine. Yeah. Well done. Hands down. We then curl the left toes under. If this is comfortable, inhale, exhale, lift up that knee. Push through that left heel. Really, that, that's the key here. Open up. If your leg is like this, it's lazy. Lift it up and push. Well done. Now relax it down. Now we're coming into a downward dog. Okay, so bring the knee back. I know downward dog is more yoga, but I always include a downward dog in my Pilates classes because it really helps to open up the whole of the back of your body. So curl those toes under. If it's too much for you, you can just sneak back into a child's pose if you don't like downward dog. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, push the heels down, let the head drop. Relax your head. Open up the back. Stretch out. If your feet don't touch the floor, don't worry. Lift one heel up at a time. Just keep pushing into your hands. This is a really lovely, relaxing stretch. It should be a lovely, relaxing stretch. Knees come all the way back down. Come up. Now we're coming to sit onto our heels. Stretching everything. So push the shoulders down away from the ears. We walk forward a little bit more. So, the chest and the back. So in Pilates, as you know, hopefully you know, it's all about the posture. How you, how you sit, how you stand, even laying down, laying on your side, it's all posture, okay? So your posture wants to be more or less perfect if it can, which means that the neck is always in line with the spine and rolls all the way down in a straight line throughout the body. So you want to push your shoulders down away from your ears, <coughs> Excuse me. And then even from here, we're, we're thinking about posture. This is really uncomfortable for you. You can sit on a chair or sit cross-legged, okay? So the arms are here, stretched out, and then we turn the palms, so the backs of the hands are touching, and then just push the shoulders down. And then we breathe in, bring the hands behind the lower back. Exhale, push. The elbows together and look up. Very gently stretch out the chest. And then nod one more time. So with this chest stretch, if you're like this all the time, okay, your chest is getting collapsed. Okay, it's rounding through the back, through the spine, and you're, you're like this. And then the more you sit like this, the more your body will get used to it. Eating, if you ever get bad sort of, um, you know, digestive problems, it could be the way you eat. Because we, we're so in a hurry, we sit watching TV, 
when we eat or we're talking, we sit like this, sit up tall, okay? Open up the chest. This is what we're doing here. So arms are together and then the back of the hands are together and then the hands come round. We breathe in and we breathe out, we push. Look forward and open up the chest. And wonderful, relax. Okie dokie, come and swing the feet around. Extend the body tall. So the upper body is long, the spine is tall. The feet are hip width apart and the hands are on top of the thighs. We breathe in and we nod down. And then we breathe out, hands come all the way down as far as they will go. So again, belly button touches the spine here and the eyes looking straight down in between the knees. If your hands can't reach your feet, don't worry, the hands can reach the thighs or the shins, kneecaps, wherever. Just as long as you keep practicing that stretch. And I always say, you want to imagine you're getting your chest to your thighs, not your head to your knee, okay? And that will help a little bit more. And then relax, hands come all the way back up, come to lay back onto your back. And then hug those knees in towards the chest one more time. Rocking side to side, lower back really pushing into the mat. Feet as wide as the mat, arms out like a cactus almost, or like an M shape. And we inhale and exhale both knees over to the left. From here, your right knee should feel really relaxed down to your right thigh. So all the way up and down, should feel like this. Come back into the middle, inhale, exhale over to the right. So remember, you can repeat this class as many times as you wish. You could even do the first half or the second half if you've not got time to watch it all. But don't forget, doing these exercises little and often, that's the best way of really stretching out your body. Of course, if you come once a week, well done, that's good, that's better than nothing. But try and do a couple of these stretches every single day and your body will be very grateful and you will feel so much more relaxed within yourself. You'll find that your tension goes. If you suffer with stress, anxiety, that might release a little bit as you're stretching out all of your body. And come back in. What I like to do sometimes at the end of my classes is just relax. When do we ever have time sometimes just to lay and do nothing for a couple of minutes? It's rare, and this is why we rush around and have tight muscles, etc. So come and lay down on your mat, or if you find this more comfortable sitting in a chair, feel free. But for the next minute, place your hands on top of your stomach and let everything go. Let your whole body rest. We inhale, we lift the belly up, and we exhale, we lower it down. Come up and lower. Inhale, the belly rises. Exhale, lower. And just carry this in your own time. Just for the next minute, just really enjoy it and relax.
and then take a deep breath in. Just breathe out, stretch anywhere you feel like your body wants to stretch. Very gently lift yourself and come all the way back up. And then we're going to come and sit cross-legged, hands on the knees, inhale, exhale, stretch out the neck, into the middle, other side. Wonderful, arms out, inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. And give yourselves a round of applause. Well done, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that. Sorry if I wasn't myself. I've got a bit of a, a, a sore throat and earache today. But um, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next Wednesday at half past 11. If you've got any questions, please let me know. Um, and um, I will try and get back to you. Um, thanks so much. I'm glad you enjoyed it all. Um, thank you for your lovely comments. Have a wonderful weekend, whatever you do. And I shall see you all next week. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.